what's another couple of games? And what I mean by that is, especially when we're talking about like today, right? Like playing one, maybe two extra games isn't that much of an impact on on individual person's time, right? Yeah. It's again for the people in the middle, the RU and the EU guys. It's easy for them to adapt. For the people at the extreme ends of the time zone scale, that's North America and Asia. It's much more challenging. Sure. But anyways, here we go. We took a look over Smiles' lineup last time. Thunder, Repub, Salem, Quadruple, Petro, Summers, and Kleber here with the restart. We'll take a look at TWA's lineup. Going Burgonia. I know Zath has to be excited to see a French battleship on each side of the map. Uh, oh, a Krem yes. Yeah, a Kremlin. <laughs> five Petropavlovsk rounded off with a Moskva and RNG Samas, Smoland. Yeah, we said before, if you're if you're not quite sure, just, just add, add Russian add, cruisers. Add, so add more Petropavlovsk, right? The there right there's there's the right way, the wrong way, and the Russian way, which is just the wrong way with more Petropavlovsk. <laughs> we see Fairy Smile driving directly into B, already gonna pick up B very quickly, ducking behind that island. I don't think they have a Petro radar able to catch him and do anything about it. Let's have a look here. No. Uh Blood Legend could radar him, but they won't have shots, so it's pointless. Which they do now, they do there goes the radar but there will be no one able to get shots over that island. It's a giant waste of their time. So Smile Absolutely. will pick up B very quickly. Well, that's what you thats what you bring a Kleb Air for, right? It's to get into positions that are relatively difficult to get to mm -hmm. and then be able to hold those positions once you're there. We saw um, VOR do that yesterday to great effect. So, Zath... And we talked we talked in between games with the with the with the group with all five of us about you know Flambass and stats mentioning that you see the Russian teams they like to go heavy on one side of the map you're seeing that here already as they're sending Repub Thunderer two Petros a Salem and a Summers all go into A the Kleber's in B and two Petros down south are expected to hold back the flood of TWA ships that are bound to be coming from that direction. Mm hmm. And and both sides are kind of looking at C as eh, we'll just. We'll just kite away if we need to. Right. You can tell that C is not the focus here. And I'm not really surprised to see that. C on this map, like, you, if you can pick it up, fine. But trying to move from C into B on this map is very challenging because of all the limited access points. You know, the enemy team knows you're going to be coming through one of these gaps. That's right. Oh, torpedoes coming on Kinemot. Those are Kleber torpedoes nope. that say they shouldn't have the range or it should be right at the extreme edge. Yep. Those those were simply torpedoes that say, stay away. Three minutes gone, and we see the early cap from Smile giving them a small lead as they continue to deploy up the 1-2 line for their big A push. RNG Sama Smallland up there, hoping to bag A before the push devours it. And you can see, once again, Smile putting a large number of forces up on one side against a small number of forces trying to defend. Ooh, RNG Sama must have a radar up. They're getting some good damage into Russian Admiral here. Yes. Taking away about a full not, third of his HP for that trouble. That's not RNG Sama. That was, I, be, I believe, Ikea's radar. Okay, I say there's, there's two Petros up there, so somebody definitely had a radar up. RNG Sama trying to smoke some of these Petro, smoke some of these ships on the one line. That's Ozai's Salem, Zidrin's Petro, all the way into that corner. Con we continue yep. to see, Zath, we continue to see how well TWA has researched their opponents. Absolutely. Now, um, this particular smoke on this map, we always talk about this, is y you have to win this corner of the map. Uh, it's kind of like one of those do or die situations. So you can see both teams are trying to get assets over there. You've got Ikea and Sneaky. Well, actually, Ikea now and uh, RNG making their way over there. Sneaky is kind of set up in case they fail and he needs to kite away. Um, and then you can see Smile using that Death Nail uh, smoke to get uh, these cruisers in position. Look at things from TWA's perspective. For the moment, they have no vision on anything. They are contesting the B cap. They've they've moved Blood Legend and Angel Stone. Well, the Blood Legend is in the cap. Angel Stone right on the edge of it. As now they pop a radar to try to see if they can fish Fairy Smiles Kleber out of that cap. Yep. A little bit of trades going on uh, south by C cap. Goat Wizard taking some hits. Lots of shells. 
Not much, uh... Well, actually, Goat Wizard has taken some decent damage, hasn't he? I was, gonna mm -hmm. say not, I was about to say not much damage, but that's actually not true. Here comes some more uh, firing now. Ikea detected. Looks like Dino is firing off at him. Ikea pops his Ikea. radar. They want to look behind that mm -hmm. island. They want to know what's going on. Some of those cruisers... Should be no surprise. No, but some of those cruisers potentially vulnerable to Darth Ennings' Kremlin. In fact, he's got sal a salvo in on Riders Republic right now, but it looks like it's going to fall mostly astern. A little bit of damage. Yep, Repub's got... Uh... Looks like his engine boost going. Probably does with that smoke. Small lead change there. Or sorry, we'll have a lead change in a moment. Apologies. Because TWA taking up the A cap. Smiles B cap. Early cap of B not going anywhere. You can see... And we have a... Go ahead. We have a beach party forming up now over here, south of this island at B2. Very much so. You can see Kenny Mod pushing aggressively kind of around this little island. They're, they're making a play for C through the middle of the board. John Sheridan's Thunder has rotated back and is able to put some damage into Kenny Mod. Nothing catastrophic, but, I mean, a big hit, but nothing like, you know, game ending. Mm-hmm. It's okay, he's reloading. Kinemon now what safely into cover from the battleship. Ryder now turning away. I'm surprised at this. I thought he would have gone straight for the Petro and just head him in the rear, but I think he's afraid of Darth Ending's Kremlin. He, sh I don't think I don't think he should be. I think he should just be mm. going for it. Yeah, maybe. Looking for a shot on Sneaky with those big Repub 431s. He gets a shot. Doesn't get a tremendous Not amount of damage much. out of it. Kinemod's push successful. He's in the position they wanted him, and now he's able to sneak through the middle of the map with about half his HP remaining. As now we see TWA pushing through the middle, kind of the way this Burgonia is reversing. That's Angel Stone. I'm just I'm I, as I watch this smile play at the top of the map, Zath. I'm just not sure how this is mm -hmm. meant to work. They're trying, yeah, that's what I mean. They're trying to get Russian Admiral off the board. They've got him radar. They're probably going to get him here in a minute. On 2K, mm -hmm. a couple more shells will be enough. They can spot him. The shells are already inbound. They miss oh, him. Oh, my goodness. Thunder, conquer, I'm sorry. That was the Kremlin dispersion. Says no. Admiral survives on about 2,000 hit points. All right. Now the Repub is moving up. Yep. Now Ike's doing do a stern to this Petro. Here it comes. Solid AP salvo, but the Petro hangs on. That's right. They're giving up a tremendous amount of HP on Ryder to get to get Ike off the board. They're going to get him right there. The secondaries oh, seal the yeah. deal. First kill going to Ryder here at the top of the map. But at what cost? I mean, Russian Admiral is so low now. Yeah, the next radar that spots him, he's likely going to be dead. Right. Rider's pretty low as well. So a lot of their push capabilities have just been destroyed. Does allow them to push Zedrin into A. Smile will be able to recoup some of their cap points here in a little bit. While all of that's been going on, the TWA push at C has been successful. They have bagged C as they continue to drive the couple of Smile ships down here back off the cap. They're trading very well down yeah. here, actually. Well, and Ferry is in a really bad position now. He's pretty much going to be gone momentarily. Yeah, here. They're, Angel they're, Stone is just... They're hemming him in here. They're, they're taking away all yep. his potential escape routes. Yep. Angel and here Stone. comes Angel Stone with the Burgonia. Yep, Angel Stone's Burgonia coming around the corner with the HE loaded, I'm sure. No, he's got the AP loaded. Nope, AP. He misses almost the entire salvo. Ferry puts torpedoes into the water as Angel Stone begins to maneuver. But now he's hardlit on the surface. Fairy pretty much can't escape. Yep. Another AP salvo. This should do there it. There it was. That it did it. All that AP bites in as TWA picks up a kill of their own. I got to say, I feel like TWA has far better positioning they right do. now. They absolutely do, Zath. They're going to own. I mean, there's no way that Smile will ever get back into C. And I feel like they're going to struggle to get into B. They've already got RNG Sama there ready. 
He's got plenty of support nearby. Look how many ships TWA has around the B cap, right? It's mm -hmm. gonna it's gonna take Smile several minutes to redeploy any assets down there to do anything about B, and they can't do anything about C already. It's too late for C. Yeah. I, I we're we're only halfway through this match, Zath. We're at the nine and a half minute mark remaining. I honestly feel like Smile has already lost this game. Now they might surprise it's me. It's looking that way. They might surprise me. There might be a way back in that I don't see. But based on their deployment and the health and the board that the, the ships that they have remaining, I don't know. How, I don't know what it's going to be. I don't know how they're going to be expected to do it. The only way back in is if they can somehow find a way to kill RNG Sama, or if and TWA the makes, or if TWA make, trades badly or makes a mistake. Right. Mm -hmm. This is in my mind. This is absolutely TWA's game to lose. They have a cap lead. Both teams down a ship. But TWA in firm control of B, and with enough ships around the cap, I just have no idea how Smile's going to get back in there. Yep. Uh, John Sheridan trying to get out here with his guns. He's had no shots on anybody for a very long time. For the moment, Mizuko is he can only see Angelstone. Yeah, I don't know what Mizuko is trying to accomplish turning back like this. Maybe he's making for that island. Okay, Sheridan finally able to get some shells in. Yeah, his last salvo he fired too early. It was there was too much island in the way. He wasn't able to get anything out of it. Mm-hmm. Well, Angel responding. Well, I mean, you know, the Burgonia HE is going to do nasty things to the Thunder. They're both of these battleships are very squishy, right? They're very, mm -hmm. very soft in general. Except Thunder has that that. Well, Thunder doesn't have the Thunder have the fancy British heel. She doesn't, does she? It's a it's a slightly enhanced heal, but it's not the super heal that the okay. Conqueror would have. Okay. All right. I didn't think it was that good. Seven and a half minutes to play. Three minutes on the timer. TWA out to about a 200-point lead here in game two. This is do or die for Smile. They need a win here to continue on. Angelstone finally in position That's on the south the side of the cap. I'm, I'm kind of waiting for the, the infamous smile aggression to finally show itself. We saw some of it in game one, right? They got down to late. They realized mm -hmm. they needed to make a play. It was like, just push, 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 get a kill. Force them to make a mistake, get them on the back foot. But at the moment, I'm just not seeing it. They're turning Ryder around. These guys at the top of the map are so isolated, Zaf. They're not in a shoot yep. at up here. Yep. Well, that's the idea, right? Like, oh, I know. TWA said, fine, you, you want the island? Take it. We'll, we'll just leave. We'll go find another island. Ryder taking his shot at Angelstone all the way south here. But Angel's got pretty solid cover now. Ryder I'm really not... surprised. I'm really surprised Mizuko didn't come around that corner there. You're talking about the, the aggression that we're expecting yeah. to see out of Smile. They, I and feel, that would have been a good play. I feel like they need to push Angelstone if they really want to kill here. Although they're driving exactly. him back. And there is a Petro South. This is farm down here. If he boosts too far back, we'll have a shot. Taking a shot now, mm -hmm. but not getting anything out of it. I mean, I would have thought Mizuko would have come around the island and then just uh, surprised Angelstone from the side and just... just you know, blapped him while Angelstone's trying to turn his turrets. Well, Angelstone is low now, under 7k, and falling. So you you know that he's the he's the pick right now. Smile oh, yeah. needs this kill. They need this kill desperately if they want to stay in this game. 1,200 HP, more Thunderer shells inbound. And there he goes. Smile takes a ship lead, but for the moment, it may not be enough. They've got their board position is tenuous at best. You gotta find a way to break into the B cap, slow down the bleeding. Russian Russian Admiral's going down here. He got detected. He's he got at 62 radar. hit points. They can't see him. I guess they got him. They got him. Sneaky, Sneaky picks him with up. with that last salvo. Last salvo, right as he goes dark, they do bag Russian Admiral. 
That's a big kill for TWA. They couldn't secure it earlier, but they get it here now as we're under a minute to play on the timer. Smile's got to mm -hmm. make it, Smile's got to make something happen. They are finally driving DNO into the B cap. He'll be on the B cap in a moment. That will slow things down a little bit. But TWA will continue to take up the C cap. There is no Smile ship in a position to do anything about that. So basically, Smile needs a kill. And as I look over mm -hmm. the, the, band, the the TWA list, I don't know where it's going to come from. I don't either. 20 seconds to go in the game. The Kremlin is the lowest thing in terms of percentage. And he's still got 36,000 HP. There's still only 35 seconds left in this match. TWA is going to sweep these guys out, Zath. I'm really surprised at that result. Mm-hmm. I feel like Smile maybe waited a little too long. This 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 stuff that happened at the top of the board, like they got up there, they got the Petro out, and then they just sat around. Like they were trying to trade for a while. I didn't understand what was going on. I still don't, if I'm honest. Yep. yep. I think they were just trying to reset themselves, and it, it just took too long to reorganize. But TWA uh, sweeps these guys out of the tournament. They're going on to the grand finals here at the top of the bracket. Flambass yeah. Flambas is going to be beside himself. He's with glee. He's going to be so excited. 